Hi, beautiful. I think a lot of you know what a bleach bath is, but nobody ever knows how to do them correctly. Bleach baths are great. Bleach baths are powerful and can be really helpful. So let's see what kind of crazy bleach bath concoctions are made today. But first, I want to thank Care Of for collaborating with me on this video. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every month. If you're like me and you're like, what? I don't know what vitamins to take. Well, you're in luck because Care Of has a really easy to understand quiz that you take, fill out a bunch of things, and it tells you exactly what you need to be the healthiest you can possibly be. And the quiz asks you a bunch of stuff like your lifestyle, your diet, and your health goals. My job can be very demanding and require a lot of energy from me, so my vitamins help me get through the day. I've been taking my care of vitamins for over, I think, a year now. I noticed an improvement overall. I feel balanced and just great at all times. My personal vitamins, I always forget the names of them, so I'm gonna read them here. <laughs> I take rhodiola, which is for stress and mood, vitamin B12, 12 for energy, veggie omega, two of them for heart health. I also have a protein for nutrition. These little packs of your vitamins are made from plant-based film that makes it compostable. I trust care of because I know it's made from good for you, clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research. So I feel good about what I'm putting in my body. I'm literally obsessed with how these little packets are personalized, like hi Brad. And it has a little question on the front. So every morning you wake up, you take these, you have a little question. It's all about the little details for me. Take care of quiz and see the vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. So click the link below and use my code BRADMONDO for 50% off of your first order with care of. First video is by Esther Parapechkin. I know this video is titled giving my roots a bleach bath, but it's basically half of my hair. Oh, please don't do that. No. She said she's giving her roots a bleach bath. I mean, bleach baths are generally used for a couple of things. If you don't already know, they're used to remove like like the top layer of color. They can remove like demi-permanent color, semi-permanent color, probably like a half a shade of permanent color sometimes in some cases. It's really just for correcting things quickly. We usually don't use this to lift somebody's level six root. That's scary. It's gonna be a lot of orange in there. So I have my bleach. I have gloves. I'm gonna put Olaplex in the mixture. I have a volume 20. The thing is, is most of the hair is close to my roots, so I know that they're gonna develop faster because of the heat. Most of the hair is close to your root. Girl, you have like four inches of regrowth there, or five even. The heat from your scalp is not gonna do too much for you in this case. Also, 20 volume with a bleach bath? Normally it'd be fine, but in this case, you're bringing that 20 volume basically down to a 15, even a 10 volume, depending on if you put like water in the formula, or I don't know what your formula is gonna look like and you're probably gonna apply it to damp hair because that's how you do a bleach bath except a lot of people do it wrong so I don't know. I do have this Dove shampoo that I'm gonna put in the mixture. I have an applicator. I also have some clips to separate my hair so that it's not gonna get too messy and then I'm also gonna be toning my hair with T10 toner. Moment of truth. Let's see what her bleach bath mixture is. If it is even a bleach bath at all, because sometimes people don't even know what that is most of the time. Uh, they're all confused. Another thing, guys, is I would prefer to leave a little bit of root. I like that look. <gasps> it's getting scarier. The thing with leaving a root, don't do it with a dull process. It's not a good idea. It just never looks right, and it's usually uneven. Like, don't. What you should do is bleach the entire thing and then add a root later, okay? With like a toner. Give yourself a little shadow root. That's how you make it look good. And then when it grows out, it's great because then your real root grows in and the shadow root is now blonde because that shadow faded off because it's only a permanent color. So now you get twice the wear out of the one color. Does that make any sense to anybody? Good. It looks to me as if she's not wetting her hair. A bleach bath, guys, the whole point is to like have your hair be damp and then have shampoo in the bleach formula and you're like lathering the bleach. You know what I mean? That's a bleach bath. Baths are usually wet. We're gonna put both of them in here. Next, I'm going to add in our developer. I'm gonna try to eyeball it and do about equal parts. Next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of shampoo, a little bit of water, Okay, so she is putting water in the formula. Just wet your hair. <laughs> and some of my Olaplex. Number three does not go in lightener. Number one goes in lightener, and that is only for professionals. We have our mixture ready, so I'm gonna put on my gloves and we're gonna get to applying. Bleach bath my ass. 
Where is the bleach bath? <laughs> this is just you applying lightener with water in it. When you put water and lightener, it just dilutes the developer. The only thing you're doing here is just putting like a 15 volume in your hair, which is definitely not a high enough developer for you. I'm looking at the first piece of hair that I did and it is lightening up. I think for a bleach bath, you can leave it in however much you want. Eventually it's gonna stop developing. So I'm just gonna leave it in for, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, it's lightening a lot. I'm a little surprised. She does have a pretty light base color and her hair looks to be kind of on the more fine side, which is really good for lightener. Those roots that she gave herself is really making me nervous. Okay, so don't mind my ends. They are obviously brighter. I feel like I should go in with a second round um, of bleach, but I'm going to do the toner and see what the outcome is. Oh no. Yeah, this came out really bad. <laughs> do not tone it. Not gonna do anything. Your hair is orange. Orange. So for toner, I'm using the um, Wella T10 toner. It's kind of hard to avoid the ends. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for like 15-20 minutes and rinse it out. This is the outcome. This is still way too orange. My um, mistake was doing a bleach bath. Because it was virgin hair, I feel like if I just went in with straight bleach, it would be more concentrated and it would lighten more. But the lady at the store said that doing it again definitely will get my hair to this exact same color. Okay, what you need to do now is just use like 20 volume and lightener and apply it to that section that's really yellow and orange. That's all. We don't need to do another bleach bath, which wasn't really a bleach bath. <laughs> this whole bleach bath thing is confusing me. <sighs> I'm going to go in right now again with the second time of bleach. All right, we're doing it again. Let's see what, what result we get this time. It should be better. I'm done, I'm gonna leave this in for another 20, 30 minutes. Those ends on her hair have been bleached 20,000 times. I'm very concerned. All right, we're moving on to the uh, toner. This is how my hair is looking. I'm hoping that this is enough, like. Ah, what the hell? Do we need to go in with bleach? Just straight up bleach with no water, okay? And just color the roots because it's stressing me out. <laughs> Oh no, we're toning it again, girl. So this is how my hair looked the next morning. There was still some yellow and orange tones on half of my hair. And obviously because my lower half of my hair is already blonde, it was much harder to try not to get things on it. I realized that I needed to definitely go in one more time. All right, we're doing a third round. This time we're using foils, which I think is a great idea. Hopefully it's not like a bleach bath again. <laughs> I messaged a friend that I know that had a little bit of knowledge in, you know, hair and stuff. So I ended up doing 20 volume with bleach, the same that I was using before, but I used foils and I left it in for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, girl, 20 minutes is not enough. I think 45 or 60 minutes. That's probably good for you. Now looking at it, it looks like it's light enough. Now the issue was trying to even the hair out so what i did was i went and i got a 30 volume developer another 20 volume because i was running out and then i got a t10 toner because i felt like the other one was too cool tone for my liking and what i ended up doing was going in with a quick bleach bath literally five minutes i coated my whole head with the 30 volume and bleach and gave it like five minutes and rinsed it out and that actually stripped the toner from half of my hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put T11 on my upper half of my hair, leave it in for about 10, 15 minutes, and then put it on the rest of my hair and leave it in for another five, 10 minutes because this is already pretty good. Okay, I definitely think it's a good idea for her to apply to the roots and mids before doing the ends and that way everything kind of comes out even, but I don't know if that theory is really gonna work because I think that toner is gonna be too light for her hair to even show up. So I tried my best to avoid the bottom half of my hair for the first half of the toning session i did not want to overtone my bottom half of my hair i just tried to like map out the best possible way to even out my hair this is the result oh my gosh i was almost regretting going through all this but i can say i am in love 
with end result. I basically put the toner on half of my hair for like five minutes maybe in the bottom of my hair. It turned out great. I also trimmed it like half an inch just to freshen up the ends. I feel like it turned out amazing. I mean, she definitely saved her hair. It looks good. You could have saved so much time though and energy if you just used 30 volume and bleach and left it on for like 45 to 60 minutes. You would only have to do it once and it would have been fine. There were just so many steps in there that were just totally not necessary. So hopefully next time you can do it way faster. Up next we have a video by Shamla. We are going to bleach wash my hair and after that I'm going to dye it red. I'm not going to bleach my hair too much. That's why I'm doing the bleach bath. Okay. Listen, I'm here for this idea. The execution, we don't know what that's gonna be, but I'm here for the idea that she doesn't need to like fully bleach her hair with the most strong bleach ever. Do you know what I'm saying? Like she doesn't need to use dirty volume and she doesn't need to get her hair super light. She just needs to lift like the surface of her hair and get a little bit of that darkness out. That way that red really shows. But with red, it's better if you don't over lift your hair and bring it to like platinum blonde before going right because then the red just doesn't stick or it looks kind of dull. So good idea. I was blonde a few months ago. So I'm just trying to get rid of the color. She's just trying to remove the surface layer of the color in her hair because she is blonde underneath that. So this is a good idea to do a bleach bath in this situation. We're going to start off with mixing the um, bleach wash. And for that, we're using vanilla bleaching powder. Volume 20 would be good. That's uh, the shampoo that I'm using. And I'm mixing everything in equal parts. Okay, so her formula is one part bleach, one part 20 volume developer and shampoo. Yes, that is a bleach bath. Now let's see if she wets her hair before applying. I'm going to apply it to towel damp hair. Yes, wow, she's doing it correctly. I'm very proud of you. Great job. That's super thick, so I think I'm going to thin it out with more shampoo. Forbidden cream. I want to eat it. Give me a bite. Oh, I've ate bleach before. Should I put that online? <laughs> Whatever. I have. I've had bleach. I love bleach. So I ate it. Like a, just a little lick. It doesn't taste good. My hair's so damaged when I brush it. Wet, it feels like gummy. No, your hair feels gummy when it's wet because it's so damaged? No, don't put any more bleach on your hair. Stop. So I'm not really trying to put that on my roots because my roots are healthy and I want them to stay. Okay, we're doing it again where we leave the roots out. We're doing this whole bleach bath thing. I just, guys, stop leaving the roots out. I get the concept, but it doesn't work like that. Unless you're okay with it being very splotchy and like all over the place. This root's colored, this root's not. This is, you know what I mean? It just because I don't mind dark roots and I think it would look good with the red especially. Next time you do this, I would say if you want dark roots, lighten the entire thing, do a very dark color in your roots for a toner and then do the red on the ends. That will give you such a seamless look instead of like a splotchy weird thing. This application is scary. Ooh, we are just taking a big chunk of hair and just laying the lighter right on top. Maybe take a section or two. Maybe just, you know what I mean? Just like get the section in there, do a little thing, but not that, not that, what you just did. Um, Don't do that. Also guys, bleach bath. Think of a bubble bath. Bleach bubble bath, we'll call it, because the proper bleach bath, it should be like foaming. It should be sudsy. You should have like a bleach, like it should be like white bleach and it should be really sudsy and like make that noise. Like that's when you know you have enough of the bleach bath on your hair. I think my hair's already lightening up. At least it looks like it. <laughs> It is lightening and it is lathering. That's good. But, oh God, I'm really worried about her roots. What's going on with the color there? But at least it's getting to a nice chocolatey brown color. And I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes. We're putting a bag on the head, which is great to keep in the heat to make sure the lightener doesn't dry out and stays moisturized because moisture devise bleach <laughs> develops fat better. <laughs> I don't know. Hello again. So it's the next day and um, this is what my hair turned out like after the bleach wash. Holy sh**, that looks good. It's a little bit too dark for my liking up here and I prepared another batch. Okay, we're going in again. All right, all right. We can't, we can't just do one. 
no, no, not today, people. I'm going to put it on dark spots. And now the same procedure as yesterday. I'm going to wet my hair and then apply the bleach bath. And then I'll see you later. But see, she has dark spots. There's things going on. There's all kinds of weird shit because we didn't section and we didn't apply evenly. The important thing when coloring or bleaching your hair is you have to be confident that it turns out good. Because when you're confident, you will manifest it. So I'm confident that this will turn out good. Okay, you're right. I'll try and be more confident in you. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, sometimes it's hard. You can do it, girl. You got this. Am I manifesting properly? So this is what my hair looks like now. I think it's gotten a little bit better. I just really wish her fringe was blonde. Like the thing around her face is dark. Why? Let's get that lighter. Okay, she is starting to apply the red color. Let's see what happens. I think her hair is at a good level to put the red on, so I think it's gonna look good. I should have bought two bottles because I almost ran out. Yeah, manic panic, come on. <laughs> Who can color their entire head of hair with four ounces of color? How do we decide on that much? That's not enough. Okay, so I uh, put the dye in and now I'm going to leave it in for one hour. Will it stick? I'm not sure. Her hair is definitely porous, so I feel like the semi-permanent color will stick on her and it'll probably look nice. I don't know. Let's see. Hello, so that's uh, what my hair turned out like. What? I like it, but... It's not as red as I wanted it in some places because I didn't have enough dye left. Okay, so it's definitely red, but it's definitely a little bit of like a splotchy red. There's a little bit of orange in there, a little copper. We need to get that even, right? So I just went to the drugstore and bought some more dye. So I bought Schwarzkopf crayons and the color granite. Okay, we have more toner. I'm glad it's not permanent color. This is toner. So she definitely needs to do another layer. It's a little too light. Okay, I'm now done with the applying. I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes. So let's get to the good news. The good news that it did work. Ooh, it's so vibrant. Mm, not as good as I hoped it to do. So that's why I went to the hair shop and bought two bottles of directions in the color pillow box red. We're putting another round of color on, which I think is a good idea because she needs it. But this is a lot. It's now been three hours and I'm going to wash the dye off. I'm finally done with my hair and I think it turned out really good. Wow. She looks so cute! Ah, I love this color on her skin tone. It's so fun, it's so fresh. I love her makeup, I love everything. It's just really cute. I don't want something else. I think it looks good with the black boots. I just like it. And it's so vibrant. Sometimes with red, it really takes, you know, a couple of toners, a few, to really get it to stick on there and really be vibrant. Like, especially with porous hair, it tends to really fall out. Quickly. But this looks dope. Congrats. Yes. If you guys want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the link down below or go to xmonohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.